How you doing, YouTube? Matt Matt's of Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of uh, pastry stout time. You can tell by the name in the form of Sedna. Not necessarily the name, but the description, which is a tiramisu stout from Ecliptic Brewing. Um, this is an 8.5% stout. It says, located out here in the coldest twilight of our solar system, uh, Sedna is a minor planet of mysterious origin. We pay our respects with this deep, velvety, full-flavored beer brewed with vanilla coffee and chocolate. Sedna is a perfect nightcap for those dark nights. So yeah, Ecliptic. Um, I did their beers. I get quite a few of them. They send stuff off to me. That's why I review them so often. Not necessarily, you know, going out there going crazy and buying it because I can't really get it by me. But um, I dig what they throw down. Uh, more hits than misses, and as of late, some of the stuff has been really good. So I'm kind of excited to give this a whirl. Label-wise, it is exactly pretty much everything they do every single time for every single label. Some of their collapse stuff is quite a bit different, but 99% of the time it's going to be kind of like a planetoid or some kind of like, you know, out in outer space kind of thing. And uh, just some lettering and what they do. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And that's pretty much it. So I don't hate it. It's a little graphic-y for my taste, but yeah, what are you going to do? That looks like stout. Yeah, nothing too crazy, nothing overly creamy, nothing overly thin. It's got a decent head on it when it had one. It's made relatively quickly. Mocha color and head. Rich motor oil and look. Let's see if we can get a nose. I mean, it's definitely like a chocolate coffee leaning beer. So they're talking about, what was it, coffee, chocolate, and vanilla. So I can actually, um, coffee and vanilla is very hard for me. Um, or, 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 vanilla and chocolate, sorry, is very hard for me and I can confuse them. Something about them, they just come off very similar to me. So I'm getting like a soft kind of milk chocolate, which, you know, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate kind of makes sense. And a little bit of soft coffee, nothing over the top. But here's the thing. If you told me this was a core four stout, I'd be like, okay, it's a core four stout, but it's really showing me notes of kind of coffee and vanilla and chocolate. It could be like that. So it's not like an over the top kind of thing with how the adjuncts are playing themselves, but they smell quite nice. Probably a little bit heavier coffee you're leaning than most darker beers would lean on without actually having an additional coffee, but it smells quite nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. That tastes like an 8.5% stout with subtle adjuncts of chocolate vanilla and coffee it's exactly i wouldn't say exactly what they kind of lead you to believe what's on the beer because when you're talking about a imperial stout with all those call outs the chocolate vanilla and coffee you expect it to be a bit more expressive it's telling that line between something that has those notes of coffee and vanilla like i talked about previously showing out showing up without it being an addition um, but it's there. It's nice. It's really well made. There's nothing as far as negative in the beer. A nice mouthfeel, a nice roasted malt base to it that gives a nice bittering, kind of counterbalances a lot of the sweet going on in the beer. And it is kind of like an imperial porter. It's not stout, um, for me. It kind of has that fluffiness in not a negative way either. It's kind of got this creaminess to it that kind of adds to the beer itself. If you want to call it a stout, you can call it a stout. It kind of split in hairs there a little bit, but it's fine. It's tasty. It's nice. It's a really well done base stout with subtle adjunct flavoring. Done and done. There's nothing negative about it, but there's also nothing otherworldly about it. Mm, ecliptic, worldly. There you go. Um, it's it's probably one of the more solid adjunct based beers without getting like too over the top and going too far in one direction. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's talk about it. Is this one of the better, you know, adjunct stouts that I've had? I was like, no. Um, it's not out or in. Let's to kind of right in that middle zone for it because you have to give props to the brewery for making a well-done beer. But if you're going to do an Imperial Stout and you're going to call out all those adjuncts, I kind of want them to show up and be expressive enough to where they add something to the beer, not so much kind of a deep third or fourth player when it comes to beer. Value and availability. Um, from what I've seen, because I see drips and drabs of Ecliptic relatively close to where I live, you can find their beers. They're usually not overly priced, but you're talking about the 16.9 ounce format bottle. You know, I've seen them for like six, seven bucks if you times that by four. 
you know, you're in the mid-20s range. A lot of people do stuff in cans. So you're paying a premium for glass, but it's not overtly expensive. And leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like stouts, if you like Imperial Porters, if you like a nice, rich, well-done stout um, that gives you gives you um, wafts, not wafts, uh, subtle, I don't want to say subtle either, somewhere in between those two, Decent hints of coffee, chocolate, and vanilla. This is for you. If you think a lot of coffee, chocolate, and vanilla beers are a little bit too heavy-handed when it comes to those adjuncts, this will be your kind of beer. If you're looking for something that's really expressive on all those fronts, it might be a little bit too timid for you. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and... Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little uh, stout right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.